Hey, what's up, good people? I'm QC. Welcome to a brand new edition of Talking and Grubbing. Sorry I haven't been doing new videos, but decided to recharge the batteries during this quarantine. I hope all you are safe and healthy. I hope your families are doing well. Well, I just had a birthday over a couple of weeks ago, so I'm still celebrating. I decided to celebrate with these mini cupcakes. I love these things, boy. I'm going to take one more here. Mm. Man, I love that icing. All right. This is one of the videos I've been wanting to get to for the last couple of weeks. Recently, the NFL announced that it's extending the NFL playoffs. Instead of having six teams in each conference, now there's going to be a seventh team in the AFC and the NFC. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now that means only the first seed in each conference is going to have a first round bye while the second seed is going to have to play wild card weekend. Now, some people have criticized the NFL for adding the new playoff seeding, including ESPN's Booger McFarlane. He feels that the NFL is rewarding mediocrity for <laughs> adding a 17. But I disagree wholeheartedly. This definitely gives more teams a chance to make the playoffs. You know, uh, in some seasons, we've had teams that were 10 and 6 that didn't get in, but we also had teams that were 7 and 9 and they got in. So, this definitely opens up more opportunity for teams to get in the playoffs. And also, it gives the elite teams in the NFL something to play for during the regular season. You know, if they don't want to play wild card weekend, then this is going to make them work a lot harder to get that first round by. Plus, you just never know. Anybody could be anybody in the NFL playoffs. Sometimes teams may start off bad because they're injured, but then they come back healthy in the second half. Also, anybody could be anybody in the NFL playoffs. Heck, we've seen a lot of wild card teams go on to win the Super Bowl or play in the Super Bowl. Like the New York Giants in 2011, they were 9-7, and they ended up winning the Super Bowl. The Arizona Cardinals in 08, they ended up playing in the Super Bowl, and they were 9-7. Also, you had teams like the Packers and Steelers, who were both wild cards, six seeds in the AFC and the NFC. They went on to win the Super Bowl. So, I say anybody can beat anybody. You know, just because that team may come in as a seventh seed, doesn't mean that they cannot knock off a, you know, very talented second seed. And also... If a second seed that's 12 and 4 or 13 and 3 gets knocked off by a seventh seed that was 9 and 7 or 8 and 8, then hey, maybe they just didn't deserve to be there or that team was just better that day. So, anyways, that's my take. What's yours? What do you think about the NFL adding a seventh seed to the AFC and the NFC? Leave your comments in the comments section below. I want to thank all my loyal subscribers for supporting me. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't make it your last. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell and click all so you don't miss any new videos from me. Also, like, comment, and share the video. Till next time, y'all have a good one. Love y'all to life. QC out. Hey, what's up, good people? It's QC once again.
again now that you saw the video subscribe to the channel when you do click on the bell icon so that way you won't miss any new videos from me and be mad let your family and friends miss those videos and let them be mad follow me on twitter and instagram like me on facebook thanks for watching